What is self-sabotage? Self-sabotage is a term used to describe the behaviors or actions that people engage in which are detrimental to their own success, growth, and well-being. Self-sabotage can take many different forms and can manifest itself in various areas of a person's life, such as relationships, career, health, and personal growth. While self-sabotage is a common phenomenon, it can be difficult to recognize and overcome. One of the most common forms of self-sabotage is procrastination. This occurs when a person delays or avoids taking action on important tasks or goals. Procrastination can be caused by fear of failure, perfectionism, or simply a lack of motivation. When a person procrastinates, they often end up rushing to complete tasks at the last minute, which can lead to subpar results and a sense of disappointment. Another form of self-sabotage is negative self-talk. This occurs when a person engages in critical or self-deprecating thoughts about themselves. Negative self-talk can be caused by low self-esteem, past trauma, or simply a lack of confidence. When a person engages in negative self-talk, they may start to believe that they are not good enough or capable of achieving their goals. This can lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy where the person does not take action towards their goals because they believe they will fail. Self-sabotage can also take the form of self-destructive behaviors. This can include substance abuse, overeating, overspending, or engaging in risky behaviors. Self-destructive behaviors can be caused by a lack of coping skills or an attempt to numb negative emotions such as anxiety or depression. While these behaviors may provide temporary relief, they can have serious long-term consequences for a person's physical and mental health. Fear of success is another common form of self-sabotage. This occurs when a person is afraid of the changes that may come with achieving their goals. For example, a person who is afraid of success in their career may fear that they will be unable to maintain a work-life balance, or that their success will lead to increased pressure and expectations from others. This fear can lead a person to self-sabotage by avoiding taking action towards their goals or downplaying their achievements. Perfectionism is another common form of self-sabotage. This occurs when a person has an unrealistic expectation of perfection and is unable to accept anything less. Perfectionism can lead to procrastination, fear of failure, and a sense of being overwhelmed. When a person is unable to meet their own high standards, they may give up on their goals altogether or engage in self-destructive behaviors. Self-sabotage can also occur in relationships. This can include behaviors such as pushing away loved ones, engaging in constant arguments or conflicts, or being overly critical of one's partner. Self-sabotage in relationships can be caused by a fear of intimacy, low self-esteem, or past traumas. When a person engages in self-sabotaging behaviors in their relationships, they may end up pushing away the very people who could support them in their personal growth. Overcoming self-sabotage can be a challenging process, but it is possible with the right tools and mindset. The first step towards overcoming self-sabotage is recognizing when it is happening. This requires self-awareness and a willingness to be honest with oneself about one's behaviors and motivations. Once a person has identified their self-sabotaging behaviors, they can begin to take action towards changing them. This may involve seeking professional help, such as therapy or counseling, to work through past traumas or negative thought patterns. It may also involve developing new coping skills, such as meditation or exercise, to manage stress and negative emotions in a healthier way. Another important step in overcoming self-sabotage is setting realistic goals and expectations. This means acknowledging that perfection is not possible and that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the process. It also means being kind and compassionate towards oneself, rather than engaging in negative self-talk or self-blame. It can also be helpful to develop a support system of friends, family, or professionals who can provide encouragement, accountability, and guidance. This can help to counteract the negative thought patterns and behaviors that can lead to self-sabotage. In addition, practicing self-care and self-compassion is crucial in overcoming self-sabotage. This may involve engaging in activities that bring joy and fulfillment, such as hobbies or spending time in nature. It may also involve prioritizing one's physical and emotional health by getting enough sleep, 
eating a healthy diet, and practicing self-care rituals such as meditation or mindfulness. Ultimately, overcoming self-sabotage requires a commitment to growth and self-improvement. It requires a willingness to face one's fears, acknowledge one's limitations, and take action towards positive change. While self-sabotage can be a challenging obstacle to overcome, it is possible with patience, persistence, and a supportive mindset.